Many people doubt if it is possible to clear NEET along with the 11th and 12th. Well, it is very much possible to qualify NEET along with your 11th and 12th and for that purpose we have made a detailed strategy for you so that you know you can plan your study in a nice way as soon as you are in your class 11th. So let us look at some of the important points that you should remember when you make your NEET preparation strategy. First of all, make a good timetable for yourself. We have already shared a video on how to make a good timetable. Make use of that video and make a very effective timetable which is very much suitable for you. Remember that in your NEET exam, you have physics, chemistry and biology and you will have 50% of the questions coming out from biology. So there would be 180 questions out of which 90 from bio, 45 from physics and 45 from chemistry. So keeping this point in mind, you should uh, prioritize your subjects in your timetable. Point number two, your need preparation has to start immediately after your 10th board exams are over. Now, after your board exams are over, you will have a summer break of two to two and a half months, right? So make use of this summer break very nicely. Now, NEET exam is NCRT based. So NCRT textbooks are going to be your holy books. So you need to do very thorough study of NCRTs, not only uh, the content which is there inside each chapter, but also the unsolved exercises at the end. So you should not miss anything that is given in NCRT. During your summer vacation, try to complete your NCRT textbook of physics, chemistry and biology as much as you can. So at least target to complete 60% to 70% of your NCRT textbook. So now you have exam fear videos so you can very easily self-study because all the chapters of NCRT have been explained in very much detail in the videos. So you can watch the videos, understand the lesson but make sure that you target to complete 60 to 70% of NCRT right during your summer break. Once the new session starts in your school, your teacher is going to teach you the same chapters of NCRT which you would have already covered in your summer break. So this is going to be a kind of revision for you and that's really good because you're going to revise whatever you had learned before. So this time you pick up any good reference book each for physics, chemistry and biology. Now make sure that you do not refer multiple books for each subject because you know that kind of uh, creates confusion. So just follow one good reference book. Make sure that you solve all the questions which are given at the end of each chapter uh, in your reference book. Do not forget to create your notes because right now while you are studying your NCRT or your reference books, you are reading a lot of new things. So whichever are the important points, make sure to note them down in your notebook in your own way because these notes are going to help you big time when you just have 15-20 days before exam. So for revision, they are going to be of great help. So please make your own notes. Now, while you are studying so much, make sure that you study with full concentration. That's very important. Never measure your uh, preparation with the number of hours which you study. So what is more important is with how much concentration are you studying. So studying for 16 hours without concentration is not good. But studying for maybe 4 hours with full concentration is a lot better. So always measure your uh, study with the amount of concentration that you have while studying. In fact, a sound sleep and a bit of physical activity either in the form of exercise or maybe sport or dance or anything that you like that help you to concentrate better in your studies. Always remember that your primary focus should always be on the concepts, on the understanding and never on road learning. Like a lot of students feel that okay, bio is all about mugging up names or mugging up things. But please do not mug up anything, whether it is a, a reaction in chemistry or a formula in physics or anything in biology. Your focus should always be in understanding the concepts because that is going to help you big time. Make sure that you spend 10 to 15 minutes every day before you go to sleep where you can quickly recap whatever you have learned through that entire day because that helps you to remember whatever you have learned for a longer period of time and it also helps you to improve your concentration. 
spend your weekends when you do not have to go to school to look at the previous year's questions for the chapters which you have learned in that week. For example, uh, the last week maybe I have learned one chapter in physics, one chapter in chemistry and maybe two chapters in biology. So the weekend my target would be to look at all the previous year's questions from all those four chapters of physics, chemistry, bio. Take up question banks and solve as many questions as you can chapter wise for physics, chemistry and bio. This not only helps you to revise the concepts but also helps you to get an idea about what kind of questions might come from a specific topic. One important thing is that never blindly rely on the answers which are given in your question banks because a lot of times it happens that there are printing mistakes in the answers and many students they just uh, memorize the answer which is given in the question bank. So never do that. And that is why I told you that always focus on the concepts, on the understanding, so that you know you can judge it for yourself whether the answer is correct or not. Now, once your class 11th final exams are over, you again get a two to two and a half months of summer break. So this is again the time when you have to utilize the summer break at its best. So complete 60 to 70 percent of your NCRT textbooks of class 12th now, taking help of exam field videos, so that you are ahead of your school. Now, once your session starts for class 12th, again the teacher is going to teach you the same lesson, and this is the time for you to take up a reference book again and go through the same chapters from the reference book and solve all the questions which are given at the end of each chapter in that reference book. So now again, you have to spend your weekends looking at the previous year's questions that have come from the chapters which you have learned that week. Take a question bank, solve as many questions as you can for your physics, chemistry, bio chapters of class 12. Now it is a general trend that normally the teachers in your school would try to complete the syllabus of class 12 as early as possible, right? Because you will be appearing for your board exams in, in the month of March. So what your target should be that by the month of November, October or November, you should be able to complete the entire syllabus of class 12. So by November, you have actually completed your NCRT textbooks of 11th and 12th. You have completed a reference book of class 11th and 12th. You have also gone through the previous year's questions of all the chapters for class 11th and 12th. And you have also taken up a question bank and solved many questions chapter wise. So this is something which you are already done. A very critical thing that you are going to do in a period of four months that is November to February and that is revision. Now revision is very very crucial in your preparation. So how are you going to utilize these four months? So make sure that you use Monday to Friday in revising. Now when I say revising the chapters, not only the chapters of class 12 but also 11th. Now, you can divide your time as per your wish. So just revise NCRT textbooks and your reference book of physics, chemistry, bio of class 11th as well as 12th during the weekdays. And make sure that during the weekends, that is Saturday and Sunday, you take up one sample paper on both the days, like one sample paper on Saturday and one sample paper on Sunday and solve them completely. Now, there are a few tips that you need to follow when you take up a sample paper. So how are you going to take up the sample paper over weekends? First point, make sure that you set up a time for yourself. Like normally your NEET exam would be of three hours, right? In fact, your board exams would also be of three hours. So you set up a time of three hours, preferably somewhere around 10 to 1 maybe, because that's generally the time when you actually give your exams. So somewhere during the daytime, you sit for three hours all alone without getting disturbed by anything without any interruption solve the entire sample paper so that you can check your speed as well as accuracy now as you write these sample papers you would see that you gradually develop a strategy of yourself of how to attempt the paper for example a lot of students say that they feel more comfortable answering bio first because in bio you mostly have theoretical questions you know the answer you just ticket mark. So you know it takes less time. So first complete bio, then move on to chemistry and finally to physics because we, physics normally includes numericals and question solving so it consumes more time. So this strategy can be different for different people depending upon their own convenience. Now you will develop your own strategy as you keep solving these sample papers every weekend.
right? Similarly, there is also a strategy of when to mark on the OMR sheet because even that consumes a lot of time. Now, if you keep like one question you solve it and you mark it on the OMR. Again, second question you mark it on the OMR. So if you do that, it generally consumes a lot more time. So instead of that, what you can do is maybe first you solve all the questions of one particular section. Maybe you, you solve all the questions of physics and then you quickly mark it on the OMR. So that also saves time. And again, as you solve these sample papers, you will have a strategy of your own during this course of time. The most critical thing is once you have written the sample paper, proper analysis of the sample paper is very important because that is where you are going to have your learning on writing the sample paper. So once you have written the sample paper within three hours, check the answers, look at your score and then you will actually have to focus on those uh, questions which you couldn't answer. Now if you feel that okay there are certain topics from which you are not able to answer, quickly go back and revise that particular topic. So that is, this is a very critical thing because if you just keep writing sample papers one after another without analysis, then this entire process is not going to be of much help. So a proper analysis is a must. So if you keep three hours to write the sample paper, you should definitely have some two to three hours after that when you can actually analyze and revise and look at your weak points and work on them. So you should do a very proper analysis. Now make sure that uh, when you write sample papers that time also your speed should be such that you are left with at least 10 to 15 minutes at the end where you can quickly revise all the answers because many times what happens is you have 180 questions to solve right so sometimes kind of we are kind of in hurry and by mistake we did some small calculation mistake so that that's quite possible right so if you revise everything at the end so maybe you can actually look at into those calculation mistakes or any kind of silly mistakes that you might have made. Now your 12th board exams are over. So you are left with just one month for your NEET exam. So how best can you make use of this one month? So spend this one month primarily for revision but make sure that you write one sample paper every day. So as I said that writing more sample papers would actually help you to revise all that you had learned in the past two years because Whatever you had learned in 11th, you had already revised it during the time frame of November to February. So in that time you have revised everything of 11th and 12th. Now just write sample papers for you know kind of a quick revision of your entire syllabus. Besides that also spend some time to revise your notes. You remember I told you that the notes which you create through the entire two years, they are going to help you in the last 30 days. So this is the time when you should revise your notes and just write sample papers. That's it. Last but not the least, believe in yourself. Believe is a very powerful tool. In fact, it has been scientifically proven that a doctor gives a hollow pill without any medicine to the patient and assures the patient that you will be fine in another two days and the patient actually recovers. So the patient actually believes the doctor's words and the patient believes that he or she will be fine and that is why he or she you know, kind of recover. So belief has strong power. So during your two years of preparation, it's a long time, it's not a, a day or two. So it's going to be two years of your preparation where every day, every moment you need to feel that you can. You have to feel that I can, I will clear need. And you know, this positivity will actually help you to clear need. And Needless to mention that please do not take any kind of stress during these two years. So stay happy, stay positive, focus on your studies, make a very good timetable and I'm sure that you'll be able to do it. Wish you all the very best.